basic one pupils of video model welcome back to our second segment of last time's review hope you rested well and i'm sure you have been staying safe god bless you ensure you get your writing materials and be involved in every calculations we'll be doing today are we ready Our next topic here is fractions. Fraction. What are fractions? Fraction means a part of a whole. A part of a whole of something. When you have an orange and you divide the orange into two and give part of the orange to your brother, it means your brother is having part of the whole orange a part of the whole orange let's look at this diagram here we have a wonderful box here which has been subdivided into nine parts nine parts out of the nine parts three parts are shaded and that's why we are having three over nine it means out of nine boxes three boxes are shaded so the three boxes are part of the whole of the nine now in a fraction there are two numbers involved just as you've seen on the screen we have the three over nine the three is the number on top and the number on top is called the numerator while the number below is called the denominator do we understand okay Let's look at addition of fractions. This is a, a clear diagram demonstrating addition of fractions. We have here 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6. When the denominator is a common denominator, what you do is you add only the numerator, which is 2 plus 3. It gives us 5 over 6. But when the denominators are different, for example, 1 over 5 plus 3 over 6, notice the other denominator was 5, while this other one is 6. What you do is you find the LCL. That could be explained explicitly in the structure. But for now, you had done addition with common denominators and that's why we are emphasizing you add only the numerator which is 5 over 6 and we together let's look at ordering of fractions ordering of fractions has to do with arrangement of fractions according to their sizes ordering of fractions has to do with arrangement of fractions according to their sizes Examples below are examples of fractions, and in no particular order, they are 1 over 2, 1 over 5, and 2 over 3. When you arrange the fractions from the smallest to the biggest, it means ascending order. Let's look at climbing the staircase. When you begin from the first step, it means you are ascending the staircase, you are going up to the top part of the staircase. That's ascending order. In terms of fraction, it means starting from the smallest to the biggest. Ordering of fraction has to do with ascending order or descending order. Ascending order is climbing a staircase, while descending order is coming down from the staircase from the biggest to the smallest. We'll be doing, we'll be comparing two fractions now if you're asked 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 which one is the biggest 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 which one is the biggest 1 over 2 and 1 
over three. How do you know the biggest? The first thing you do is to find the LCM. And the LCM is simply multiplying the denominators together, which is two times three. Yes, my dear, what's two times three? Six, wow. Give yourself thumbs up. So the LCM of two and three is six. The next thing you're expected to do is, what will multiply two to give you six? What will multiply two to give you six? That is three. So whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So to find, so, so that we can have a common denominator. Our emphasis or our focus is to find a common denominator. So we go ahead, one over two, times 3 over 3. It gives us 3 over 6. Now we are through with half. The next one is, what will multiply 3 to give you 6? What will multiply 3 to give you 6? And that is what? Yes, that is what? 2. Beautiful. So we do the same thing. What we will do to the denominator, we do same to the numerator. So we do 1 over 3 times 2 over 2. Which gives us 2 over 6. Wow. Now look at those answers. 3 over 6 and 2 over 6. Which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? 3 over 6 and 2 over 6. Which one is bigger? Obviously, 3 over 6 is bigger than 2 over 6. So you say to compare 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. It means 1 over 2 is greater. Therefore, this means final answer. 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 3. Do we understand? Wow. It's as simple as that. Very simple. Let's look at another simple example. 1 over 4 and 2 over 3. Which one is bigger? 1 over 4 and 2 over 3. Which one is bigger? Remember the first step we did was to find the LCM. And to find an LCM, what you do is you multiply the denominators by themselves. Like 4 times 3. 4 times 3 gives us what? 12. Wow. So, what will multiply 4 to give you 12 is 3. What will multiply 3 to give you 12 is 4. So, we do the same method. 1 over 4, remember whatever you do to the denominator, you do the same thing to the numerator. So we won't be multiplying 4 by 3 and 1 by 3. Which gives us 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Wow. Our aim is to have a common denominator. So we do the same thing to the next fraction, which is 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Gives us what? 2 times 4 is 8. 
and 3, oh, 3 times 4 is 12. Look at those two answers, 3 over 12 and 8 over 12. Which one is bigger? Now they all have common denominators. We can compare them only when they have common denominators. Now we have 3 over 12 and 8 over 12. Which one is bigger? Obviously, 8 over 12 is bigger than 3 over 12. So we go back to the original question. It means 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 4. This means 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 4. Now we have compared the fraction and this is our verdict that 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 4. Now if you don't want to use the greater than sign symbol, you can also say 1 over 4, it means 1 over 4 is less than 2 over 3 or 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 4. Isn't that simple? Very simple. We have come to the end of our lesson. Let's look at the evaluation. Please ensure you answer these questions and ensure you snap it and send it back to me on the chat. Answer the question, snap your answers and send it back to me on the chat i'll be so pleased to evaluate your work do you understand number one the number on top of a fraction is called what the number on top of a fraction is called what number two the number below a fraction is called the number below in a fraction is called number three which one is greater between 2 over 4 and 2 over 6? Which one is greater between 2 over 4 and 3 over 6? We have finally come to the end of our second terms review. There is something I want to promise you. Mathematics is easy. Mathematics is interesting. Mathematics is simple. And it's actually the best subject. You can agree with me. In this third term, all you need to do is ensure you pay rapt attention. I tell you, mathematics will be made so easy beyond your understanding. Take care of yourself. Rest well. Enjoy yourself. And most importantly, stay safe. Madam loves you. Bye-bye.